Okay, let's find the antiderivative of this cubic polynomial. So as we're doing this, we have three separate terms. What we are allowed to do is split this up and work these each individually by putting integral symbols by each one of these. And I'm going to go ahead and use our constant rule and bring that 14 out in front. All right, now I don't write these out on every single one. You definitely don't need to to show your work. But I want to show you on this example at least how we're doing this, and we're working these one term at a time, basically. So we can use the power rule in this first one. So we're going to increase the exponent by 1, and then divide by that new exponent, or multiply by 1 over that new exponent in front. Next, I'm going to go ahead and bring the 14 along. We had an exponent of 1, so we're going to use the power rule again. We're going to increase the exponent by 1, and divide by that new exponent. Since we had a constant out in front, I'm just going to divide that constant by our new exponent. And finally, we have a constant, the 5. If we put an x with that 5, the derivative of 5x gets us back to 5. Now, the other thing we want to include in each one of these is a plus c to represent some constant at the end. Because if we take a derivative of a constant, it's like a plus 0. All right, to finish this up and give the best answer possible, I'm going to clean up that second term, where we'd say 14 divided by 2 makes 7, x squared plus 5x plus c. All right, hope this helps out as you're getting used to antiderivative rules.